A May 13th, 2020 update regarding Town Hall in Winchester, New Hampshire. Looks like they are letting people in. Uh, they just want you to knock and they come to the door. You know, it doesn't seem too unreasonable. And what's interesting is I don't see much anything else here that, that I find to be, you know, particularly unreasonable. Uh, you know, as you enter the building, it's just like a few weeks ago when I was here last, there's not there's not a whole lot of barking orders at you on the door. However, I keep wanting to find out what is the Town of Winchester Red Committee. I tried to uh, interview members of the committee uh, when it was scheduled a few weeks ago and the, me the scheduled meeting, no one showed up. Now there's another one scheduled in some a few minutes, you know, you know, about half an hour from now. So we'll see if uh, anyone shows up, then I can ask them some questions. Hey, are you on the red committee? No. Nope. Oh, are you on the uh, board of selectmen? Yeah. Oh, a question for you. Uh, what is the status of uh, of the public meetings right now? Are 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 people allowed to comment again? Um, we're holding meetings as usual as long as we don't have over ten people. Uh. Last time I asked, about three weeks ago, I think, uh, they were not allowing public comment in the meetings. Is that still the case? We have not have If they do show up and we have time, we will allow it. As long as we don't go over ten people, including the six that are here for the meetings. Okay. On the board and the, and the secretary. All right, thanks. And what's your name? James. Okay, I'm Dave. Uh, what's your last name? Rhodes. Okay, Mr. Rhodes. Thank Rhodes, as in Cecil Rhodes? Rhodes? Oh, okay. Thanks, Mr. Rooks. Hi, Chairman. Is that you? Yeah. Hey, question for you. What on earth is the Red Committee? Uh, revitalization and Economic Development. Okay. All right. And they're, they're the ones that they're in charge of the uh, farmer's market. Is that right? Sort of? Yeah. They do the farmer's market and they do the music in the park, local food festival, town-wide cleanup day. Okay, uh, is the is the farmers market going to be back on this year? More than likely, it will be at some point. But right now, until until they can do it outside, they're not they're not going to do it. Okay, okay. The weather just hasn't cooperated this year. What, if anything, will you be doing personally to make sure that property taxes go down this year? Now that people are having so much trouble making ends meet. Personally, there's not a lot you can do except make sure that spending is controlled. No unnecessary spending other than that. Is there a way to cut spending? Um, there's a couple small ways, but we've already cut on the town side. We've already cut as much as we almost possibly can. Do you guys enforce drug laws? Do we enforce drug laws? Yes. Yeah, the police department enforce all laws. It costs money, doesn't it? Yeah, but there's still a law they have to be enforced. You can't just let people start breaking the law because it costs money to enforce it. I don't know about your police department, but the Keene Police Department has a provision that they are re required to exercise discretion. Why can't yeah. your police department exercise discretion? We, we uphold all laws. Well, you can't uphold all laws. There's 200,000 pages of them. They, right. I mean, they're obviously not out babysitting every single person on the street to make sure they're not breaking the smallest laws in the world. But. Well, I mean, I've broken many laws and told the government beforehand that I would do it as an act of civil disobedience. They never show up <laughs> yeah. in most cases. <laughs> I mean, at some point in our life, I think we've all broken a law or two. Um, yeah. Whether whether we it's intentional or not, I mean, it's hard to... But the laws that can be enforced, we do enforce. Okay, I appreciate your time, Chairman. Yep, yeah, thank you. Thanks. I'm sorry, what? I said, I think you have to get my permission to videotape, don't you? To what extent do you support, uh, what are you doing personally to bring down property I'll, I'll, taxes? I'll, I'll talk to you if you take the videotape off. On the job means on the record, sir. Well, yes it does, in here. We're not in here yet. Well, you're out here with me. The next question, 
Uh, have you looked into this semi-secret uh, arrest by your police department, and what do you think of it? I, uh, no comment. <laughs> I told you. You take the video camera off, and we'll talk. Uh, at least the town is still saving money on electricity. Except it isn't. So the meeting starts in uh, 22 minutes at 7 p.m. this May 22nd, and they're in there, and we're supposed to be able to be allowed in if we knock. But this, uh, there was this gentleman earlier that tried to knock, and, and uh, he knocked at least twice and no one let him in. So maybe his knock wasn't loud enough. I do want to test and make sure that they are in fact letting people into the building, or, you know, or at least determine what the status is. There we go. I think I have a louder knock than this Come gentleman. He was knocking and no one would let him in, so. Mark. I just wanted to see if you were really letting people in. <laughs> yeah, I am. Um, I just hadn't unlocked the door yet, so it was All right. pretty early. Thank you, Selectman. You've probably heard of Porkfest, but have you heard of Forkfest? It's a decentralized alternative. It's also at Rogers Campground at a slightly different time. You don't even need a ticket. Visit Forkfest.party. It's gonna be a party.